Welcome to Top 10 USA, home of the Rocket Platform. Please follow our replacement procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the replacement process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your SAN as well as data loss may occur. If your machine is covered under the Rocket Plus subscription and you have any questions or concerns, please open a ticket through the Rocket Platform customer portal. Your first step is to access the group manager of your Dell Equalogic Array. There are two methods to accessing your array. If you already know how to access the Dell Equalogic Group Manager, please skip to 1 minute and 9 seconds. If you are utilizing SAN Headquarters, you will want to launch the SAN Headquarters client. Once SAN Headquarters is loaded, on the left hand side of the page you will see a list of current groups managed by SAN Headquarters. From here you will need to select on the particular group with the current issue. You will right click on the group name and select the option Launch Group Manager and log in using your login credentials. If you are accessing your Dell Equalogic via web browser, you will open your preferred web browser and in the address bar either enter the host name of your SAN or the management IP address. Once you see a login prompt, please enter your login credentials. Now that you are logged into the Equalogic Group Manager, you are going to need to identify the uh, Equalogic array with the issue. On the left hand side of the page, we are going to select on the particular array that currently has an indicator marking. In the center of the screen, you will see a row of tabs across the top of the page. You will need to go to the Maintenance tab of the Dell Equalogic Array. Toward the right-hand side of the page, you are going to see a section of identification information of this array. Be sure to click Start LEDs Flashing. We will need any LED indication turned on for any service procedure in order to identify the faulty SAN with ease. If either of these methods do not work or the machine is inaccessible, contact us directly. When replacing a control module in a Dell Equalogic Array, you will need to first identify through the group manager which control module is currently failed and ensure it is in either the secondary state or the not installed state. For you to identify the failed control module, you will go under the Controllers tab in the group manager. From the Controllers tab, we can see the information regarding the control modules that are currently installed. The control modules will be in one of three states, active, secondary, and not installed. The not installed state will only be displayed if the controller cannot boot or the no controller is currently installed. If the control module is in either the secondary or not installed state, then it is safe to proceed with replacing the faulty controller. Please skip to 3 minutes and 13 seconds. If the control module is in the active state, you will need to force it into the secondary state. During a period of low IOs or off hours, log into the group manager. Select a member with the faulty control module and navigate to the maintenance tab. Under the Maintenance tab, select the option Restart. After selecting the option, you will be prompted to input the management password. Once the password has been accepted, the system will restart the active control module, causing the secondary control module to take the active role. You must now wait for the faulty control module to reboot and show in the secondary state within the Controllers tab. If the controller fails to come online within an hour of waiting, the controller has failed to boot and is safe to replace. Now that you have identified which control module has failed and ensured it is ready for replacement, you will need to identify the position of the control module. Navigate to the Status tab. From the Status tab, you can see a graphical representation of the inside of the array on the left-hand side of the page. As you see here, the controller in slot 0 is in the left-hand slot on the inside of the array. Using the LED indication you had turned on, locate the array. The array should have every indication light on the machine flashing. Once the array has been identified, you will need to turn off the indicator lights. Enter into the group manager and select a member with the failed control module. Open up the maintenance tab and on the right hand side select the option Stop LEDs Flashing. Slide the enclosure forward until you can readily access the faulty control modules. In order to slide the enclosure forward, push inwards on the front of the enclosure until you hear a clicking sound. After you hear the clicking sound, you will be free to pull the enclosure straight back out of the slot. From the top of the array, you can see the control modules in their slots. If the control module is in the active state, it will have a green light illuminating the power indicator and a green light illuminating the heartbeat indicator. If the control module is in the secondary state, it will have a green light illuminating the power indicator and an amber light illuminating the heartbeat indicator. If the control module is in the not installed state, there will be no lights illuminating the indicators. Confirm that the indicator light showing match what was seen in the GUI. Once you can confirm that this is the control module that will need to be replaced, depress on the button with the brown circle. This will release the locking mechanism for the metal lever. 
causing the metal lever to swing upwards. Swing the metal lever all the way up using a light amount of force. Once the lever is extended fully, you should be free to pull the control module straight up out of the slot. Prior to inserting the replacement controller into the empty slot, you must first move the SD card from the original controller into the replacement controller. To remove the SD card from the original controller, open the lever on the controller all the way. Near the button on the front of the controller, you will see the SD card sitting in the SD slot. Push the SD card inward to release it. Now remove the SD card from the slot. Now insert the SD card into the SD card slot on the replacement controller. Push in until you hear or see the SD card click into place. Once clicked in place, the controller will be safe to insert into the machine. Open the levers on the replacement controller all the way. Then insert the controller into the now open slot. Make sure the controller is oriented in the same direction as the controller that was just removed from the said slot. Once seated in around 90% of the way, the lever on the control module will begin to seat in its slot. Once the lever on the control module begins to seat in its slot, Depress on the lever, causing the control module to seat the rest of the way. Now return to the group manager and check on the status of the replacement control module. If the array is back to a healthy status, you are safe to close this call out. If the control module fails to come back online or other issues arise, please contact us directly. Thank you for choosing the Rocket Platform, the evolution of hardware maintenance. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA Video Production Team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.